Welcome to the Class of 2021 Senior Awards presentation. I'm Dr. Mark Wallstrom, the principal at Discovery Canyon Campus High School, and it's my honor to present the outstanding achievements of the senior class of 2021. Our presentation highlights the exceptional achievements of the class of 2021 in academics, arts, activities, and athletics. A thank you to family and friends of the class of 2021 for your unwavering love, support, and caring for the seniors. Our presentation begins here at the elementary school. Seniors, this is where your journey began at Discovery Canyon or the Da Vinci Academy or Antelope Trails or another elementary school. This is where you learned about reading, writing, arithmetic, the alphabet, and the most important rule, always look both ways and hold hands when you cross the street. It was the end of the first decade of the new millennium and you were in elementary school. It was around 2010 and Starbucks and McDonald's both began to offer free Wi-Fi to their customers. Toy Story 3 was the most popular film and American Idol was the top TV show. The New Orleans Saints were the Super Bowl champs, the San Francisco Giants won the World Series, and the Chicago Blackhawks clinched the Stanley Cup. Time Magazine's Person of the Year was Mark Zuckerberger. Top grossing Broadway shows included Wicked, The Lion King, Billy Elliot, The Musical, Jersey Boys, The Addams Family, Mary Poppins, Mamma Mia, Phantom of the Opera, and West Side Story. A long-standing tradition at DCC is the senior walk on the last day of school. The walk begins here at the elementary school. This senior walk symbolizes the journey from the elementary school to graduation. Let's begin our walk together through the canyon and along the way, let's celebrate the amazing accomplishments of the class of 2021. Please follow me. Welcome DCC families and friends to the class of 2021's Senior Award Ceremony. We are so excited to share the amazing accomplishments of this year's senior class. We all know that this has been a challenging year. Across the globe, we've experienced heartbreak and setbacks. Despite all of this, DCC seniors have continued forward, keeping their eye firmly set on the future. They have identified career paths, pursued higher education, and remain committed to their values. This perseverance is evidenced in the over $5 million in scholarship and grant funding our seniors were awarded for next year, their acceptance to top schools such as Berkeley, Stanford, and UT Austin, and their pursuit of trade programs and military appointments. We are so proud of the class of 2021 and their accomplishments, and we can't wait to see the innovative ways in which they are bound to impact this world. Hello and welcome. Today we get to recognize those students who have completed the IB Continuum at Discovery Canyon Campus. My name is Andy Little and this is my 11th year at DCC, where I currently serve as the IB coordinator in the 11th and 12th grade. Today I brought a friend along with me to help recognize our students who have completed their IB journey here at Discovery Canyon, Miss Autumn Crosby. Hi, I'm Autumn Crosby. I'm the PYP coordinator in the elementary and I had the privilege of teaching many of these students at their first year in kindergarten at Discovery Canyon campus. IB encourages an education and experience where the students get to fulfill this IB journey through their K-12 education. From preschool through the 12th grade, our students get to pursue their personal passions, explore uh, opportunities, and create a community within their educational journey. Lifelong lessons in character development are fostered in a one-of-a-kind international baccalaureate environment that spans the entire pre-K through high school journey for our students. Today, we'd like to recognize those students who have completed the IB Continuum. By attending school here their entire educational career, we are happy and so proud to be able to honor you today with the recognition of the K-12 Continuum Distinction. <clears throat> Darby Benkin, Isaac Borcher, Kate Bouchel, Sophia Bouchel, Corinne Bratowski, Anthony Breglio, Aiden Emmons, Caden Ford, Tanner Hatton, Kalanasia Karamsetti, Emma Keating, Brooks King, Sean Kirkpatrick, Emily Knight, Ellie Lindenberger, Riley McFarland, Andrew McGill, 
Michael Mitchell, Torin O'Hara, Avery Prechtel, Jess Ruff Wagenker, Luke Selmeyer, Grace Thompson, Braden Weaver, Morgan Willard, Kirian Yoakum, and Paris Young. Congratulations to everyone. We are so proud of you and we're looking forward to all of your future endeavors. Hello everyone. My name is Colonel Larry Hinken, United States Air Force retired, and I'm also the International Baccalaureate History teacher here at Discovery Canyon High School. It's my great honor and pleasure to be able to introduce to you those members of the class of 2021 who are members of a military family. Each one of them will be receiving this red, white, and blue cord in honor of that achievement. As a growing up as a military child myself and also raising two military children, I'm acutely aware of the sacrifices that these children have made throughout their school careers, culminating here at Discovery Canyon High School. Being a child of a military family means deployments. It means TDYs. It means separation from parents on numerous occasions. This is something that's not normal in the rest of society is only about 4% of the population are actually members of the military at any given time. So these students have sacrificed above and beyond what a normal high school student has to go through. Because of that, we'd like to honor them for their sacrifices and we'd like to congratulate them for the achievements that they have accomplished, not only here at Discovery Canyon, but throughout their entire school career. So with that, I'd like to name the 85 graduates of the class of 2021 who will be receiving this red, white, and blue cord in honor of their achievement as being a member of a military family. Kiana Anderson, Christopher Arbizani, Dominic Arias, Campbell James Armitage, Riley Arnold, Sydney Atkins, Kellen Bain, Matthew Bird, Riley Blitt, Isaac Borchert, Kylie Britton, Connor Clancy, Aliana Codrington, Bryce Davis, Aaron Davis, Genevieve Dennison, Theron Dennison, Dawn Dixon, Luke Fawcett, Alexis Ford, Matthew Gibbon, Mackenzie Gleason, Nikolai Gonzalez, Talent Gooch, Camden Granger, Henry Grant, Kaylee Harris, Phoenix Havner, Evan Havey, Gwyneth Hudson, Gavin Jackson, Luke Jarrett, Aiden Kim, Emily Knight, Austin Costco, Logan LaPierre, Lauren Linenberger, Jessica Locke, Natasha Masha, Madeline McCollum, Riley McFarlane, Devlin Melcher, Arius Michael, Lydia Miller, Joseph Morris, Asia Moss, Isabel Murphy, Nicole Mutter, Christian Navarez, Haley Neener, Grace Neufer, Ethan Ose, Patrick Orlowski, Jace Orwick, Jason Pabellico Jr., Viviana Perez, Nathaniel Proft, Case Reagan, Bailey Reed, Justin Riley, Reese Recker, Emily Rhodes, Chance Ricca, Mackenzie Riley, Daxon Robbins, Ethan Robinson, Quinton Robinson, 
Josie Ann Robinson, Alexandra Rowland, Catherine Rowland, Braden Russell, Robert Bo Rutherford, Delaney Ryland, Ryan, excuse me, McKenna Ryan, Kenneth Scribber, Kylie Sang, Aaron Smith, Jessica Spurl, Christian Thomas, Braxton Todd, Abram Trevino, Jacob Vollmer, Adam Walker, Braden Weaver, and Paris Young. Again, on behalf of the entire Discovery Canyon community, we'd like to thank you all for your sacrifices and the sacrifices that your parents made on our behalf. And as always, go Thunder. Hi, my name is Terry Watts, and it is my privilege to introduce to you your classmates that will be entering the Armed Forces Services. Abram Trevino, entering the United States Air Force. Chevy Ford, entering the United States Air Force. Mackenzie Gleason, entering the United States Air Force. Braden Russell, entering the United States Air Force. Case Reagan, entering the United States Navy. Again, it is my honor and privilege to introduce your classmates that are entering the Armed Forces Services. Thank you. Good evening, Discovery Canyon Class of 2021. It is my distinct privilege to be here to present the Cadet Officer of the Year for the Air Force Junior ROTC program. This year we had a tie. We have two outstanding seniors from the Discovery Canyon Class of 2021 who have been leaders in our program for the entire four years of their high school career. And that is Lydia Miller and Matt Gibbons. Both of them served as group commanders this year, two of our top cadets leading the unit through what was, as you know, a very challenging year. Uh, what I love about the fact uh, that we have those two winners is they're both very different from the terms that they both are going on different paths. Lydia earned a Navy ROTC scholarship and she's heading to pursue a commission in the Navy. Matt is pursuing a civilian career as an engineer. Uh, so the Air Force Junior ROTC program really is for leadership and citizenship regardless of the path chosen. And both of these students have both learned from and contributed to the Junior ROTC program during their high school career. So congratulations, Matt and Lydia. On behalf of the Air Force, I'd like to congratulate Austin Gibbs on receiving the Air Force ROTC Scholarship. Well done, Austin. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Julia Wallace, the Air Force ROTC Admissions Advisor for Colorado, and it is my pleasure to present this scholarship today to Patrick William Orlowski. Air Force ROTC is offered at over 1,200 colleges and universities across the country, and the scholarships are highly competitive. This year was the most selective competition we have seen in many years with only 1,600 out of 9,400 students being selected across the United States. Students are selected based on their work ethic, leadership, potential, and character. Patrick received a full in-state tuition scholarship to the university of his choice, including a $900 yearly textbook allowance and a monthly stipend that ranges up to $500. When Patrick graduates college, he will join a select group of young leaders that make up less than 1% of the U.S. population as a commissioned officer in the United States Air Force or Space Force. So on behalf of Brigadier General Leslie A. Maher, Commander United States Air Force Gene M. Home Center for Officer Sessions and Citizen Development, I would like to congratulate Patrick on achieving this very impressive accomplishment. Thank you. I have the honor of recognizing this year's recipient of the Naval ROTC Scholarship. This program provides tuition, room and board, books, and more to college-bound students that demonstrate duty to service, leadership, and character. This year's recipient is Lydia Miller. Lydia exemplifies perseverance and commitment, never wavering in her pursuit of excellence. Congratulations, Lydia.
Hey, welcome uh, senior athletes uh, to our awards presentation for Athlete of the Year. First of all, I would just like to uh, thank every one of you for participating these last four years in, in all of the athletics and activities here at Discovery Canyon. We truly do appreciate all that you've given to um, this school. And it's an honor to present this award. This award is voted on by the coaches um, um, within our staff here at Discovery Canyon. And there's a couple of stipulations with it. The first one is, is that um, in order to be considered in this, you have to be in good academic and behavior standing, as well as you have to play a minimum of two sports. Um, and then they um, kind of go from there, and, and it's uh, it's voted on, like I said, by the coaches. So um, these two athletes, very deserving. Both of them have been multiple sport athletes here at Discovery Canyon. Both of them have put time into our strength and conditioning um, and invested into our community as a whole. And so we're super Super excited that uh, Izzy Murphy and Kenny Passion are our athletes of the year. So we are just super uh, thankful for you guys. Uh, thanks for leading well. Thanks for participating. And we wish you the best of luck as you move forward. Thanks and congratulations. Hi. I'm Mrs. Williams and I'm the DECA and FBLA advisor. These DECA members have devoted three years to a marketing education program. They are emerging leaders and entrepreneurs prepared for post-secondary pathways in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management. Congratulations to the following members who have earned a DECA cork. Anna Albrecht, Keelan Bain, Matthew Bird, Megan Clancy, Gabby Gray, Michael Hanna, Kaylee Harris, Ellie Lindenberger, Kyleen Lynch, Ada McDonald, Maddie McCollum, Haley Meaner, Viviana Perez, Jake Reyes, Grace Thompson, and Paris Young. Next, these FBLA members are inspired and prepared to become community-minded business leaders. They have held chapter officer positions, networked with accomplished business professionals, and participated in business-focused workshops, seminars, and academic competitions. Each of them has qualified and competed in the FBLA State Leadership Conference this year. Congratulations to Evan Haney, Kalyan Karamsetti, and Shreya Vijay for earning an FBLA cord. Hello, I'm John Jamison, the high school SSN teacher. It is my honor to take a moment and recognize the four following seniors who have made a significant impact within our school walls and community through their promotion of inclusion for our students with special needs. These young people have been role models, friends, and mentors for their classmates. Thank you, Shelby K. Christopher, Grace Neufer, Danielle Daniela Vandermuy, and Aspen Vihar for your service and dedication as a small token of my deepest appreciation and a public de declaration of service, I present you with a pin to wear on your graduation gown. Thank you for all that you have done to go above and beyond to promote inclusion for all kids. And may I add, we have greatly missed you this year. Thank you. Hey seniors, I'm Mrs. Felker. I'm Miss Snyder. And I'm Mrs. Carpenter, uh, or as some of you like to call me, Mama C. We are three of the adult advisors for Sources of Strength. Miss Scott sends her best to all of you. We just wanted to give a big shout out to all our Sources of Strength senior career leaders. Some have been with Sources for a few years, some since middle school, and we are so grateful we have had this time with you. All senior participants will get our Sources of Strength pin and a certificate of participation. Those participants are Callie Blassett, Elijah Dennison, Chevy Ford, Landry Jones, Baby Coney, Tasha Masha, Josie Robinson, Gorgon Strike, Valerie Tostado. And a special thank you for our Senior Vice President, Corinne Bratkowski, and to our President, Seth Pelko. Thank you all for your leadership. Thank you for helping to connect others to trusting adults and mentors. And thank you for spreading hope, help, and strength to all students and staff at DCC, especially this year. Remember your healthy activities and family support. Lean in to your medical access and physical health. 
Don't forget about your spirituality and generosity. And always know who your mentors and positive friends are. We wish you the best of luck in wherever your journey may take you. And know that you'll always be part of the Sources team here at DCC High School. Hi, I'm Christian Demeyer, Senate Advisor, and I want to talk about this year's seniors. The Senate is responsible for supporting school activities and events, including athletics, performing arts, and other clubs, school-wide activities. Senators also plan whole school activities throughout the year, such as spirit weeks, pep assemblies, homecoming week, door wars, dances, and community service. Through these activities, senators learn to look within themselves and learn leadership skills. They develop personal leadership skills, as well as an understanding of group dynamics, seeking to foster a better understanding of themselves and their capacity for leadership. These Senate seniors have served the student body for up to four years of their high school career. Thank you all for what you have done to make DCC a better place. You will be missed. These seniors will be wearing this cord at graduation and they include two-year Senator Seth Calcote, three-year Senator Mia Danzler, four-year Senator and student body president Jessica Locke, one-year Senator Lydia Miller, four-year Senator Michael Primavera, and one-year Senator Daniela Vanderbilt. Thanks, guys. As our presentation continues, so does our journey through the canyon. We're at the heart of Discovery Canyon Campus Middle School. Seniors, here is where you continue to hone your academic, artistic, and athletic skills. It was around 2016, and Apple released the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. Pokemon Go became the fastest growing app in history. About 2.9 billion Google searches were made every day. For the first time in history, streaming services generated more revenue for the music industry than the sales of albums and singles. Rogue One, A Star Wars Story was the highest grossing film. Hamilton the Musical won 11 Tony Awards after garnering 16 nominations. As we head to the high school, let's continue our celebration of the class of 2021 and our journey to the top of the canyon. Follow me. Hi guys, welcome. And tonight, this evening, we would like to honor and recognize those in our National Honor Society who will be awarded a gold cord. And these gold cords are going to be contributed to our seniors based on eligibility within their dedication to the DCC National Honor Society chapter through academics, attendance, service in school, and community. Myself, Ms. Hoffman, and Mrs. Garls will be reading the names of those who will receive their gold cords for awards night. Our 2021 seniors, CJ Armitage, Sarah Arnold Ferreira, Callie Blossig, Corinne Brakowski, Christina Chain, Shelby Kate Christopher, Connor Clancy, Tay Cummins, Austin Gibbs, Jackson Greer, Officer, Nicholas Hall, Officer, Paige Hansen, Jordan Harrell, Phoenix Hebner, Evan Haney, Landry Jones, Kalyan Karamsetti, Officer, Emily Knight, Kesley Kinniger, Peyton Kramer, Logan LaPierre, Jessica Locke, Andrew McGill, Lydia Miller, Ella Muncie, Nicole Mutter, Grace Newfer. Patrick Orlowski, Jason Pavelico, Rashali Patel, Michael Primavera, Megan Raiders, Dax Robbins, Josie Ann Robinson, Lexi Rowland, McKenna Ryan, Tia Shea, President, Jessica Spurl, Christian Thomas, Grace Thompson, Robert Yusevich, Daniela Vander Marwi, Sharia BJ, Officer, Jacob Vollmer, Morgan Willard, Kiram Yochim. Congratulations. 
Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Miller and I'm the Tri-M Music Honor Society Advisor at Discovery Canyon High School. I'm here to honor the seniors who have received Tri-M chords for this school year. These seniors have gone above and beyond in our music program at DCC and they have um, provided the community with service um, and also have attended multiple performance opportunities throughout the school year to support those who participate in performance ensembles. These students include Alexia Campos Gomez, Amber Carlson, Grace Lay, Jackson Greer, Nicholas Hall, and William Harrell. Congratulations, seniors. On behalf of Dale Walker, I'd like to present the following students with the National Technical Honor Society Cord. Kareen Brekowski, Jackson Greer, Emma Harvey, Evan Haney, Sriya Kalyan, Michael Trankler, and Sriya Vijay. Hi, I'm Suzanne Smelker, and I am the sponsor for the National English Honor Society. Those seniors that are graduating um, that have been members of the National English Honor Society will, reveal, will be receiving a blue and gold cord. NEHS was founded with the goal of recognizing at the national level those who on the basis of academic grades and performance merit special note for past and current accomplishments, nurturing these persons in ways that they are encouraged to develop further their abilities in the various fields of English and encouraging members to use their talents in the service of others. The motto is duty goes with honor. Um, individuals are selected for NEHS, NEHS based on their accomplishments in the field of English and overall academic achievement. I would like to honor the following seniors for persevering through an incredible year and providing us with the leadership that we so needed this year. Christopher Aberzani, Corinne Bretkowski, Sarah Gallego, President, Jackson Greer, Jack of All Trades, Emily Knight, Vice President, Kesley Kinninger and Lydia Miller. Congratulations, thank you. Hey there, Madame Knight here to talk about my seniors in National French Honor Society. We do a ton of events this year and thanks to the leadership of our president, Lydia Miller, we've done a lot of creative and innovative things even though it's been a wild and crazy and abnormal year. I've taught all three of all five of these kids for three years and I'm just happy to say it's been so much fun to watch them grow, change, mature and learn French. First up, I'm going to talk about Corinne Bratkowski, Amber Carlson, and Alexia Campos Gomez. All three of these girls have been so motivated and worked so hard this year, and they've helped me out a ton with tutoring. Alexia, especially, I want to give you a shout out because I've asked you last minute to tutor probably four or five times, and every time you've been willing to, so thank you so much. And even though senioritis is real, Alexia has also volunteered to edit our commercial for Thor Wars, so thank you so much for that. I have two other seniors to talk about, and they are both officers, Nicholas Hall has been so amazing as our tutoring czar. He has put together the tutoring schedule, made sure we had plenty of people to tutor, even when it was a weird day. Um, he's also been willing to help out with anything that we've needed. Every time we've had an event before it starts, Nick's like, Madame, what do you need? So he's always been helpful and always pinch hitting for us. Thank you so much, Nick, I appreciate you. And finally, I already mentioned Lydia Miller. She is our president, Madame La Présidente. She has been so innovative, had so many wonderful ideas, and she has definitely had a lasting impact on French Honor Society, and you guys may have noticed, I'm wearing your cords that you were going to get to wear at graduation. So, félicitations, vous me manquerez et bonne chance dans le futur. The National Spanish Honor Society is recognizing two seniors this year for their service, Brashali Patel and Sarah Gallego. Brashali is the president of NSHS this year. Her enthusiasm has been evident from the very first meeting, doing all she can to make everyone feel connected and motivated in spite of having to meet virtually. Sarah is our secretary and has been a great source of encouragement and ideas using her past experience in Honor Society to help guide the club as we have had to figure out how to do everything without being able to meet in person. In addition to having limits on what we were able to do this year, the club also had new sponsors. Rashali and Sarah were so patient and helpful as us sponsors navigated our new roles. Our main event for the year was International Week. Rashali and Sarah worked through the challenges of planning and organizing activities for International Week in the midst of so many hurdles including numerous meetings and weekend hours spent preparing and cre uh, creating the activities. Senora Merton and I can't thank them enough for their service and help this year. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Hamilton and I'm here to honor Science National Honor Society. The cord I have around my neck is the cord that they will be receiving this year. It is purple, green, and gold representing science. 
National Science Honor Society is for students that go above and beyond in their science classes. They have to earn good grades, but they also have to take uh, more than just the normal science classes. Uh, they have to be involved in more than just four over their four years. Um, the group that we had this year met that and went beyond. Um, with the, the situation we had this year, this year I was introduced into this group in late September and it's my first time doing this. So the uh, students that were in it last year and have knowledge of it were really in charge of organizing all of the um, events that we had and the things that we did to earn the cords. So they were really in charge of earning their own cords this year. Um, I'm very proud of them. Uh, the five students that I have that earned their cords are Sarah, Sarah, Emily, Colleen, Lydia, and Corinne. Good job. Hi, I'm Jeremy Beckman, and this is Megan Botfield, and we are representing DCC Speech and Debate. The DCC Speech and Debate program represents DCC throughout the state, competing in public speaking, interpretation of literature, and debate in 13 different events. The following students have accumulated over 100 points in their high school career in these events to earn a cord from the National Forensics League. With students only being able to accumulate six points per round, these students have successfully competed on dozens of Saturdays to earn this distinguished honor. The cords for the class of 2021. Ms. Callie Blassig. Mr. Tay Cummins. Ms. Vrushali Patel. Mr. Luke Jeseritz. Ms. Kesley Kinniger. Mr. Patrick Orlowski. Mr. Michael Primavera. And Ms. Tia Shea. Congratulations, seniors. At the state level, we had a student selected for the All-State team, a first for DCC Speech and Debate. To be considered, a student must be in the top five of all students in the state of Colorado during the year. To be selected for the first team, a student must be the number one in their event for the majority of the school year with rankings coming out each week. DCC had the number one student in world schools debate for the majority of the 2020 and 2021 school year, but this student was also number one in big questions debate for part of the year for the entire state of Colorado. In addition, she was also doing full DP while holding a part-time job, and we're very proud to say this student will be staying right here in Colorado Springs to continue her education at Colorado College. She was selected first team all state speech and debate by the National Speech and Debate Association. Congratulations to Ms. Tia Shea. And in addition, we had another student honored by the National Speech and Debate Association for their achievement both in the classroom and in competition. To even be considered for the academic All-American status, a student must have a 3.8 on weighted GPA, a 30 on their ACT, and accumulate 1,500 points in their high school career. With only being able to win, with only being able to get six points for winning a round of speaking or debate and three points for a loss, this is a minimum of 250 rounds of competition. And the knowledge of the word ought more than any one person ought to ever have. A committee then reviews applications from across the country for character and leadership to pick a group of academic All-Americans for that year. And you won't find a better manager of their time, a better leader, or a better student who holds the bar of culture for our team higher than this young woman. DCC Speech and Debate has only been around for five years, but we have had three students receive this national honor so far. Congratulations to Ms. Tia Shea, academic All-American for the class of 2021. Next, we would like to honor our academically outstanding students. These students have demonstrated a mastery of their academics, maintaining some of the highest GPAs of the senior class, often while juggling additional responsibilities to their families, friends, and community. To each of you, we applaud your accomplishments and achievements. Students earning a GPA of 3.75 to 3.99 are awarded the Cum Laude Award, and that will be a white and silver cord. These students are Riley Arnold, Katherine Baker, Haley Carroll, Lauren Davis, Genevieve Dennison, Matthew Gibbons, Nikolai Gonzalez, Henry Grant, Evan Gustafson, 
Jordan Harrell, Bethlehem Koning, Keaton Laborde, Christina Lohr, Colton Mast, Riley McFarland, Alicia Meeks, Michael Mitchell, Isabel Murphy, Richard Park, Caden Rogers, Delaney Ryan, Jessica Schaub, Morgan Stroik, and Joshua Velasco. For students receiving the magna cum laude courts for GPAs of 4.0 to 4.49, they will be wearing this white and gold cord. Thomas Newgard. McKenna Ryan. Kesley Kinninger. Sarah Gallego. Austin Gibbs, Annalie Sarkey, Peyton Kramer, Tay Cummins, Molly Fisher, Ryan Fuentes, Luke Selmeyer, Nicole Mutter, Gabriella Gray, Grace Newfer. Megan Redders, Isaac Wood, Amber Carlson, Thomas Reynolds, Paige Hansen, Robert Yusevich, Corinne Bratkowski, Jessica Spurl, Jessica Locke, Alex Thasu, Alexandra Rowland, Mayana Tang, Grace Lee, Braxton Todd, Somia Dugarala, Emily Knight, Lauren Linenberger. Emma Harvey, Kate McDowell, Kyle Blake, Connor Clancy, Chance Ricca, Austin Weller, Cameron Van Batum, Eno Huss, Josiane. Robinson, Amelia Schaefer, Shelby Christopher, Bryce Davis, Phoenix Hevener, Evan Haney, Austin Costco, Patrick Blitt, Caleb Moore, Morgan Willard, Aliana Codrington, Anthony Breglio, Case Reagan, Sydney Atkins, Tanner Hatton, Kevin Campbell, Jason Pablico Jr. Elijah Dennison, Ethan O's, Austin Piper, and Grace Thompson. Students earning a GPA of 4.5 or greater are awarded summa cum laude. They will receive a purple, black, and silver cord to wear. These students are Emily Allen, Callie Blazek, Christina Chang, William Davis, Don Dixon, Caden Ford, Jackson Greer, Nicholas Hall, Luke Jeseritz, Kalyan Karamset, Arthur Nyes, 
Andrew McGill, Lydia Miller, Elia Muncie, Patrick Orlowski, Rishali Patel, Michael Primavera, Daxon Robbins, Tia Shea, Gauri Simha, Christian Thomas, Sharia Vijay, Jacob Vollmer, and Kieran Yoakum. For students receiving all A's for seven semesters, they will receive this white cord. Caden Ford, Kieran Yoakum, Jessica Spurl, Shreya Vijay, Christina Chang, Rushali Patel, and Austin Gibbs. Seniors, you're finally here, high school. Welcome to room 330, which is Ms. Carpenter's classroom. Ms. Carpenter is our 2021 Teacher of the Year at Discovery Canyon Campus High School. Congratulations, Ms. Carpenter. You certainly have made a positive impact on all the students at Discovery Canyon. Thanks. Ms. Carpenter and I would like to take a few moments and honor the top 10 students in the class of 2021 and this year's inductees into the Discovery Canyon Campus Academic Hall of Fame. These 10 students have recorded the 10 highest weighted GPAs while at Discovery Canyon Campus High School. Please join us in celebrating in alphabetical order the top 10 for 2021. Ms. Carpenter. Callie Blessing. Christina Chang. Luke Jesuits. Kalyan Karamsetti. Arthur Nice. Patrick Orlowski. Christian Thomas. Shreya Vijay. Jacob Fulmer. Kieran Yoko. Congratulations to these students and thank you, Ms. Carpenter. Now, let's move on to the Academic Hall of Fame. The DCC Academic Hall of Fame honors seniors who have earned academic distinction while attending Discovery Canyon Campus High School. The following criteria was used to determine which students are eligible for consideration. Students must meet the requirements for the most demanding curriculum at DCC. Students must have attended DCC for at least two years. Students must have earned a GPA of 4.3 or higher while in attendance at DCC. A student must have a ACT or SAT score in the 90th percentile. The 2021 inductees into the Discovery Canyon Campus High School Academic Hall of Fame are Ms. Carpenter, Christina Chang, Luke Jesuits, Kalyan Karamsetti, Arthur Nice, Christian Thomas, Shreya Vijay, and Jacob Fulmer. Congratulations to those students. Job well done. Let's continue our journey and celebration. Our last stop will be at the top of the canyon at the famous bronze sculpture on campus titled Journey of the Imagination. We'll see you up there. I'm Mitchell Burke, and it is my pleasure to award the honor souls for biomedical sciences. These students have successfully completed all four years of the biomedical sciences program here at Discovery Canyon, and they have earned the right to wear the red stole at graduation this year. When these students began the pathway in 2017, they entered with a cohort of 67 students. Only these few students will receive this honor. Will Davis, Thomas Reynolds, Riley McFarland, Nick Hall, Nicole Mutter, Morgan Willard, Megan Readers, Lexi Rowland, Kesley Koninger, Josie Robinson, Josh Velasco, Jordan Harrell, Grace Thompson, Gowrie Simha, Genevieve Dennison, Gabby Gray, Ethan Ose, Emily Allen, Ellie Lindenberger, Elijah Dennison, Christina Lohr, Christina Chang, Charlie Welch, Beatty Koenig, Austin Costco, Annalie Sarkey, and Aliana Cart. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Josh Kinney and I'm representing Project Lead the Way Engineering. In order to receive a stole for graduation, 
students must complete at least five of the courses that we offer. The following students will be receiving a Blue Engineering Stole for graduation. Jace Orwick, Chance Ricca, Austin Weller, Anthony Breglio, Grace Leth, Andrew McGill, Alex Tasu, Shreya Vijay, Kieran Yoakum, and Patrick Orlowski. The following students have completed all six of the courses that we offer. They will be receiving a blue stole, as well as their name on the Engineering Hall of Fame in the Fabrication Lab. Riley Blitt, Tay Cummins, Michael Mitchell, Sarah Arnold, Corinne Bretkowski, Jackson Greer, and Case Reagan. Congratulations to these students, and good luck next year. Throughout our 15 years of formalized schooling, we take classes that build upon each previous year, math, English, foreign language. Psychology is one of a small handful of courses offered to high school students that there is no previous course introducing this study of the mind and behavior. The Sci Award recognizes seniors who courageously enrolled to study a field of science they have never formally been exposed to and have excelled in this study. Students that qualify for this award have, been, have at least met one of two criteria. They have earned an average of 95% or better both semesters of a college level course or students have earned a four or above on the IB examination. This pin is to be worn on your graduation gown or pinned to an honor cord. Today, we would like to recognize and award the Sci Award to the following students. Callie Blasig, Shelby Kate Christopher, Sarah Gallego, Lauren Linenberger, Jessica Locke, Christina Lohr, Lydia Miller, Nicole Mutter, Megan Raiders, McKenna Ryan, Daniela Vandermerwee, and Morgan Willard. Thank you. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Andy Little and I am the International Baccalaureate Coordinator for the 11th and 12th grade at Discovery Canyon Campus. Today we get to recognize those diploma program students. These DP students have in part completed six IB classes, both at the higher level and standard level. They have written a 4,000 word research paper and have contributed countless hours of service in their community. In other words, they have chosen to take the most rigorous coursework options that we offer at DCC. In addition to a research paper and giving time in their community over the past two years. The goal of the International Baccalaureate is to provide an education for a better world. IB Diploma Program candidates, I am certain that you will continue to contribute to the goal of using the tools, resources, and knowledge you have acquired these past two years. It has been a long journey of hard work and dedication. There have been moments of relevation, moments of anxiety, moments of joy, and moments of questioning, but most importantly, moments of triumph. Today, we celebrate you and your hard work, the dedication towards this program, our school, and our community. The graduation stoles that you are gonna receive represent the fulfillment of a serious and rigorous commitment. You have chosen to take the most academic rigorous program we have at DCC. You have put yourself in position to excel both in current world and in the world that you have in front of you. You should be proud of what you have accomplished here at DCC. Please know that we are so proud of the work that you have put in. Thank you, thank you for your dedication, thank you for your hard work, and thank you for your commitment to our school. Now I'd like to recognize those students who have fulfilled the diploma program commitment here at DCC. Emily Allen, Christopher Arbizani, Adeline Barnes, Callie Blossick, Christina Chang, Connor Clancy, Genevieve Dennison, Sonia Dugarala, Sarah Gallego, Titus Gibetto, Kalyan Karamsetti, Kesley Kinniger, Nicole Mutter, Thomas Newgard, Megan Raiders, Alexandra Rowland, Bo Rutherford, McKenna Ryan, Tia Shea, Gowrie Simha, and Christian Thomas. Congratulations to our diploma program graduates of the class of 2021. 
We are also very proud of you and good luck. The next group of students we wish to honor are those recognized as National Merit finalists. Started in 1955, the National Merit Program recognizes students who achieved exemplary scores on the PSAT their sophomore or junior year. This year, DCC was honored to have six students recognized by the program. First, we honor Luke Jesuits and Jacob Bulmer as commended students, identified for their exceptional academic promise demonstrated by their outstanding performance on the PSAT. Next, we honor Amelia Schaefer, who qualified as a semi-finalist in the National Merit Scholarship Program. Finally, we acknowledge William Davis, Elia Munsey, and Arthur Nyes for making it to the final round of the program, making them this year's DCC National Merit Finalists. Congratulations to all of you for your outstanding academic achievement. Today, I get to honor our IB Scholar Distinctions. The IB Scholar Distinction is a graduation honor for those students who take and complete multiple IB classes both at the higher level and standard level here at DCC over their junior and senior year. The International Baccalaureate focuses on critical thinking and building problem-solving skills while encouraging diversity, international mindedness, curiosity, and a healthy appetite for learning and excellence. An IB education provides students distinct advantages as they enter a world where asking the right questions is as important as discovering the answers. For over 50 years, IB has created a global community of world-class educators and coordinators to engage more than 1.4 million students in over 5,300 schools across 158 countries. Today, we recognize our IB scholars with this bronze cord. Thank you for making the decision to take and complete multiple rigorous IB courses at Discovery Canyon Campus. Riley Arnold. Isaac Borcher, Corinne Bratkowski, Anthony Breglio, Seth Calcott, Alexia Campos Gomez, Shelby Kate Christopher, Aliana Codrington, Tay Cummings, Elijah Dennison, Don Dixon, Molly Fisher, Caden Ford, Austin Gibbs, Jackson Greer, Nicholas Hall, Jordan Harrell, Gwen Hudson, Landry Jones, Emily Knight, Peyton Kramer, Grace Lee, Jessica Locke, Noah Mabon, Lydia Miller, Elia Muncy, Grace Newfer, Michael Primavera, Dax Robbins, Caden Rogers, Luke Selmeyer, Theo Smith, Cameron Van Batum, Shreya Vijay, Jacob Vollmer, Morgan Willard, and Paris Young. Congratulations to our IB Scholars of the Class of 2021. We are so thankful to be a part of your journey and proud of all that you have accomplished this year. And good luck. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Dowdell. And I'm Mrs. Miller, and we're the choir directors at DCC High School. We would love to recognize our students who auditioned for and were accepted in All State Choir this year. Alexia Campos Gomez, Gianna Cole, Aaron Davis, Camden Granger, Elizabeth Knope, Shreya Krishnan, JD Malkin, Natasha Mashik, Elia Muncy, Grace Newfer, Kyle Sang, and Jessica Sperl. We're really proud of you guys and congratulate you on all of your efforts to be accepted into this All-State Choir. The Library Advisory Board is a student organization dedicated to improving student life through the library at Discovery Canyon Campus. My name is Carol Bram Schreiber, your teacher librarian and the sponsor of the Library Advisory Board. It's my honor to, today to recognize the hard work of our graduating seniors in our club through fundraisers like coffee sales and the Valentine gift delivery, 
these students raised enough money to leave a lasting legacy for all to enjoy in the library. In 2017, the Library Advisory Board decided to add our first collaboration and charging tables in the Inkspot when we started the Bring Your Own Device program on campus. The following year, these students designed the Pendulum Ledge for independent study and a place to exhale and enjoy our views of Pikes Peak. As I graduate, we can see their final gift to the campus is underway, the collaboration murals designed for our new collaboration space, the cloud. They've left, you've left a lasting legacy for all your hard work. Congratulations to Don Dixon, Jackson Greer, Kesley Kinniger, and Megan Raiders for their dedication, vision, and community service to our campus. We're awarding them with library pins to wear at graduation. Thank you for your service to the Thunder community. Good luck as you turn the page and enter the next chapter of your life. Seniors, your pre-K-12 journey ends here at the top of the canyon. Congratulations. The journey of imagination sculpture is placed at the end of the highest plaza to symbolize the culmination of the pre-K-12 educational experience at Discovery Canyon Campus and unlimited possibilities ahead for you the students. The glider, paper airplanes, and pogo sticks are symbols of your dreams and aspirations. This summer, we'll be engraving the names of all the graduates from Discovery Canyon Campus High School on the base of the sculpture. You, the class of 2021, will be among them. Seniors, a heartfelt congratulations. You are the class of 2021. You persevered, endured, and not only did you survive a year and a half of schooling during a pandemic, you thrived. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the senior class of 2021. Congratulations again, seniors. And as we do each morning with the public address system, I invite you to join me one last time. Always be humble and kind. And as always, go Thunder.